What is up? What is up, YouTube? This is Stephanie, aka Ed Nihas to Sapapa, and I'm here to do the monthly reading. So I'm currently on the sign of Taurus. So let's get into it. Let's get your shuffle popping. All right, divine forces of unconditional love. <laughs> the highest divine forces of unconditional love of the highest macrocosm. What messages do you have? For the sign of Taurus for their highest good. What messages do we have for the sign of Taurus? Taurus, the bull, le bull, for their highest good. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. So we have grief. And envy. Uh, the grief card says here, I understand that losing someone is an opportunity to appreciate it. So you may have um, lost someone. I'm thinking more due to just you know a, a re, you know relationships ending a relationship ending, um, and you guys you know going your different ways. Adversity, and let's see what the next card will be. Sir, what do you have for the sign of Taurus? doubt bottom of the deck courage so spirit is wanting you to have courage for sure today um and this month march of march um let's get out some some energy here to clarify the cards on the table give me a clarity card, clarification card for grief please excuse me but you know the word challenges is in two of the cards here so um Spirit needs you to be in the mind frame of accepting challenge, uh, accept that challenges are the best way to learn, you know, so don't feel like this, um, this tough, strenuous energy that you're going through is for nothing. Make sure you're being um, diligent. And accepting res responsibility for perhaps your part in this relationship ending. But spirit, I feel, wants you to know that your power is going to lie within you. Um, focusing on surrendering. You know, because we have here the focus card, the void, I think power was next, and then release. That just kind of fell out. <coughs> but I um, feel like your power is going to be within you releasing control. Um, maybe trying to prove a point or anything like that. You just need to be in the energy of um, contemplation and just truly seeing where perhaps you went wrong. But keep pushing, having the courage to keep pushing, not allowing this um, situation to make you not believe in love, but to 
but seeing it as an opportunity to better yourself so that you can attract true love you know so let's get some tarot so the first um well first and foremost self-reflection exactly that was underneath and then there's guilt so again um we just gotta i'm gonna be just gonna be straight up and just give you know the reading as i see fit i feel like tara she probably have done some shady shit <laughs> may have um been in some narcissistic energy and it's time for you to just be real with yourself and accept you know your actions take accountability ask yourself why i experienced certain things and again this reading is not going to resonate with everyone it's a general reading but um it's just time for some real ass conversations within yourself because again see the cards that were underneath self-reflection and guilt it says i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul growth you of course in order to release it you have to acknowledge it you know so acknowledge your part in it and release worry and release guilt in knowing that you are maturing to the uh, point of accepting responsibility accepting your accountability and things and making a conscious decision to change take making the courage to, you know having the courage to change because it really takes a strong person to admit their faults uh, and it takes an even stronger person to overcome that you know but spirit wants you to have the courage to do so to know that you are resilient and very strong and very powerful and it's uh, being called that you carry this burden and you do that you deal with this burden um, because it says here, I find the inner strength to face fear, which could be that self-reflection, but to face fear with confidence. So, first uh, week of March, perhaps you're going to be dealing with this energy of, you know, an unexpected um, loss of a relationship. This could have already happened, could be about to happen, but um, if it has already happened, you're in the stage right now of where you are still perhaps dealing with the grief of it let's get some clarity on the grief and the unexpected card five of swords yes so you have a lot of um uh, you know, negative energy, um, frustration, perhaps, um, with the ending, with the ending of this relationship. But again, like Spirit says, they and want you to know that you're protected. You're going through um, a tough time right now, but you're covered, and you'll be continue to be covered as long as you do the work to um, to heal yes and to learn the lesson exactly because we have the six of cups here and the world card which is a completion showing um that you are now ready to move to the next level to ascend um so this is fast moving energy um messages coming in help you assimilate you know this grief and again you know it's this understanding that losing someone is an opportunity to appreciate it wow look at that the unexpected card here with the page of um cups the seer of shells but this is the page of cups and again you see this penguin has it saw the shell here but didn't even know there was a special friend in there um awaiting him so unexpected an unexpected blessing you know in this time of grief and change with you know this is a 41 no it's 43 spiritual um this is you know this is for your spiritual growth as you know 43 adds up to the number seven but again so you have the unexpected card and then this unexpected situation here with the uh page of swords unexpected uh 
So you ha this relationship, this loss may have been unexpected, but there's also a blessing that is coming from this. And that blessing is, again, you learning the lesson, you taking the action or um, being clear in your mind and being able to see the things that you need to work on. And this is going to be life changing for you, you know going to be life changing for you it's going to bring you bring about uh, uh, an energy of peace you know and just being gentle with yourself learning to be gentle with yourself as the second week of march we have the envy and um peace card and again it's this envy card said i'm the same as everyone else but with different challenges and you see and, and with you seeing that you just again it's just for for me you um, know letting you know that everyone has certain issues and everyone has growing pains there's you know things that we do um that is probably not conducive to happiness and you know just characteristics or attributes about ourselves that um is kind of self-sabotaging and you know again we all have it but it's not about the fall but it's about how long you stay down you know like the story of the prodigal son excuse me let's get clarity on this envy and peace card Oof. okay nine of feathers so yeah this um relationship was very important to you um let's see if anything else very important to you meant a lot to you um and then we have the confusion card the this is the subconscious card but you know perhaps you know the things that you did you possibly did sub, um subconsciously is it's kind of maybe like a habit that you may have and if we are speaking of narcissistic energy you know those type of people need other people's energy you know to feel important to feel relevant you know kind of like energy vampire but you know again coming into having the courage and the resilience to truly take an honest look at yourself and you know, tapping into the your own power so that you can generate the healing that you need to have and to know that you have everything within your within you that you need. You don't have to cipher any energy from anyone else. You don't have to be an energy vampire. You don't have to have uh, have to live a life always codependently um, codependently dependent upon someone else for your happiness you know you can be in this state of peace and love within yourself you know not needing anyone else so we have the eight of source energy here which is about you know you trapping yourself in you see the little bird is trapped in by the feathers and those feathers are the his thoughts of not being enough perhaps of um uh, you know, just a self-imposed jail. Very defensive. You know, against everything. But if you tap into this self-love energy, generate that self-love and that self-confidence and that self-mastery within yourself, a lot of the this negative or heavy energy that you feel will go away, you know. It will go away. Let's get one more card here. Love. Just tap into that healing power of unconditional love for yourself. You know? Forgiving yourself. Exactly. Call to awakening. This situation has shed light on you. And the darkness that is within you has nowhere to hide anymore. It has been brought to the forefront for you to deal with it. 
five of shells on the bottom of the car of the deck you know facing your fears um, and no longer crying over spilt milk and what went wrong or relationship what relationships didn't go the way you wanted them to go um, and accepting your um, part in that as in the third week of March we have the adversity and will card so it's gonna take um, your willpower to face this adversity it says here I accept that challenges are the best way to learn so you're gonna be tapping into that willpower into that bull Taurus energy and you're gonna be stubborn and pig-headed in the right things so in the right direction and being mature and exercising your light versus your darkness and exercising your faith yes to overcome your straight you know, faith your strength your willpower to overcome this heartbreak uh, energy to overcome this fear and this doubt overcome this confusion here you know there's perhaps you know many um, areas in which you could work on but these are opportunities for growth <laughs> yes that's beautiful yes opportunities for growth and to establish a firm foundation this is about you know a celebration about a promotion this could be an initiation card yes beyond the deception of beyond self-deception excuse me you have the key you have the key and you accept the responsibility is the strategy you need to get your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow you know but the key to get in that is acceptance is you know taking accountability accountability beautiful let's get a few more cards more cards on this adversity and will energy please spirit beautiful yes willpower to stand your ground against this adversity you're not gonna beat yourself up about what didn't work out in the past you're not gonna beat yourself up um, about your actions you're just gonna change them you're just gonna improve you're just gonna do better next time you know and that's all that can be asked of you the four of pentacles again this could be um, also a promotion card as well um, but I feel this is more of you just setting healthy boundaries of the things that you when it comes to you um, and how much you depend on other people for uh, validation um, you know just kind of blocking off your energy the four pinnacles can be um, greed and such but you know I feel like it's more of you just setting up those healthy boundaries and in doing so it's going to help you to overcome this energy of doubt and fear of feeling like you know you may never find that perfect that person find your person your soulmate you're not going to succumb to that energy you're just going to do what you need to do you know with the message with the clear message that you've received here with the um page of source sorts which is about communication coming in um, communication coming in to empower you exactly with the ace of feathers of truth power and triumph you're triumphing over doubt you're triumphing over fear because you have tapped into your energy of courage and resilience and you're doing the work here 
you're very clear about what went wrong and what you need to do to uh, make things right exactly with the uh, knight of cups which is you know kind of the apology card and maybe it's just you apologizing to yourself not specifically the person in which you separated from or it could be that as well but I feel like it's more about you apologizing to yourself forgiving yourself for um, the things that you've done to, to mess things up perhaps in a relationship um, forgiving yourself for loving people who hurt you um, and just forgiveness so that you can you know no longer be wasting your time focused on um, spilt milk crying over spilt milk it's done it's over and you're just moving forward and empower empowered to be the best that you can be exactly empowered which is you know will bring about a manifestation here with the ace of pentacles uh, a gift coming in and also you being, being empowered to step out into the world again with a newfound appreciation a newfound passion a newfound energy of excitement and anticipation of a beautiful um manifestation of your loved one or your person your wife your soulmate because you've done the work and with you doing with with you doing the work it has uh, opened up you opened you up to the uh, blessings of the law of attraction yeah because we look here the death card you have done a complete 360 you're transforming um, this is a major transformation of just an energy, an energy shift. You're going from the darkness, from this dark negative energy to a light, bright energy. Again, answering the call to awakening. Not beating up, beating yourself up. Um, not being in the eight of swords energy where you are trapping yourself into uh, just a, a, a hamster wheel of negative self-talk. No, no, no. Freedom freedom yes being the king of ones seeing the vision having a, a powerful vision and fairly going after it with integrity and with morals with, in a nurturing way you know beautiful look at all these kings and queens energy that is just coming up And then the look at that, you know, right after each other. So the King of Wands tapping into that energy of that leadership, authority, you know, leading your kingdom in the right way. And, you know, nurturing energy, honest, loving energy. Um, because now you see clearly you've answered the call to awakening. Remember the sun card? Answer that call of awakening. And now you're... Um, living your life in a fair way and justice and being honest and true with people which is awakening your inner magician you know um, any inner magician powers to truly manifest what it is that you want manifest a um, like this all this water back here manifest an emotional intelligence you, you know I actually seeing and realizing that you have all that you need all of the resources that you need you're awakening to that energy um, doing the your meditation work you know taking that time out for yourself so that you can reach enlightenment about um, just you and what is needed for you to see to the next level and and you doing the work you can just sit back and relax and just allow your ships to come in um but this is a actively waiting so while you are um while spirit is gen you know manifesting generating your blessing to come in you're actively planning uh, what your next step is going to be beautiful focusing on your work with the king this is the king of pentacles he's all about 
um, financial stability, um, security, patience, loyalty, all of those beautiful uh, energies that um, speaks about our security and the things that make us feel safe. That's what the pinnacle energy is about. Yes, with the tower card, you have done a complete uh, 180. And I want to say 360 because that's mean you're right back in the same point. But you've done a complete uh, 180 and just really have turned uh, your perspective around, which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful here for the month of March. So I don't feel like there's a lot of um, energy uh, things in regards to business going on. Um, right now right now it's just the energy of you doing that internal work so that you can be prepared and worthy of a great windfall of blessings coming into your life because you'll be in the maturity um the mature energy to be able to handle it and a you know with integrity and truth and love and honesty you know all right so that was your reading hope to help in some way shape form or fashion and some and until next time <laughs> peace